Stand by for transmission. Coming to you from Studio V in Metropolis, this is live from Retro Daddy. Good afternoon. Well, no, actually, still good morning. I'm Robert Hodge, and boy, am I lucky because I get to spend the day with you today playing all kinds of brunch music and jazz and pop and Broadway, and I'm going to choose a little of everything for you today. I'm famous for creating medleys, and we're going to start with a medley about the moon. Massive applause. There are three of us in the studio, and let's see how much noise we can make. I know I can do my share, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness, it is exciting to be here, and thank you to all of you who have tuned in. It's a wonderful place to spend the morning at Retro Daddio, and my thanks to all of our sponsors, because without them, there would be no series, and there would be no work, and it's a marvelous pleasure to be here. I'm just happy to get out of the house today. To our friends in New York. This is a, another medley, actually, of some of the songs that are the jazziest of the Broadway stage. If you have tap shoes, pull them out.
You know, for years I've been telling people when I play that song, I said, you know, it's impossible not to be happy with that song. But there's been one person that wasn't happy. I had a guy, a self-appointed music critic that walked up one day and he said, I hope you realize that Scott Joplin did not play that song that fast. And I said, I know, but if he'd have had my skills, I bet he would have. I he spent really a, got mad. I spent a little bit of time learning it on the guitar and I played it in front of my daughters mm -hmm. one time. And they said, oh, the ice cream truck song. And oh. I, <laughs> I promptly forgot how to play it. Well, that's pretty funny. And for those of you who don't recognize that voice, that is Paul Todd, the greatest guitarist in Virginia. He loves when I say things like that. I don't, I don't know why you continue to do so. <laughs> Thank you, but no, that's not true. I appreciate ah. it. I like your style. Oh, and speaking of the things that people associate with songs, actually, I'll tell you a funny story. Years ago, I worked at Trump Castle in Atlantic City. So yes, I was technically employed by a president in the early 90s. But the, <laughs> the funniest thing that ever happened was this lady came up to me on a stage in the lobby. I'm sitting there, and she goes, do you know the Taco Bell song? And I was like, you don't mean the commercial. She goes, no, 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 that pretty song I hear at weddings. And it took me a minute. And I thought, you don't mean the Paco Bell. And she went, whatever. So to this day, when I play this gorgeous song, I think of it as the Taco Bell song. And now so will you. Since Paul is getting married tomorrow, I mean, you can watch that wedding right here on Retro Daddy Alive. that lady's watching. That'd be really fun. Because I've actually made her famous around the world telling that story. She has no idea. Hmm. Anyway. I don't see all the things coming up on Facebook. If you have a request, you can send it in. And perhaps I might be able to see it. The monitor's a little far away and I'm not 25 anymore. It's amazing the difference that it makes in two years. Well, Clyde Parsons says, enjoying from Richmond. I'm sorry? Clyde Parsons. Said, oh, hi, Clyde and Mary. Enjoying yeah. from Richmond. They're my friends. Jeanette McLuhan said, so beautiful. Yeah, Lisa Campbell said, I've always loved this song, but never heard it played as beautifully as Robert Hodge plays it. Well, thank you, Lisa. I wish you were here to take some pictures. She's a brilliant photographer. Gary Hedgepeth, is my little brother great or what? That's my sister's husband, yeah. Evelyn Thomas said, Honeysuckle Rose. Yeah. Honey, honeysuckle Rose? I 
Couldn't do a jazz brunch without adding a little jazzed up Beethoven. This song, actually I've been saying for many years, is perhaps the greatest song ever written. And the reason that I feel that way about it is because it's the only song that I've ever found I can take to any audience, in any room, in any part of the world, and everybody thinks that it was written about them. And you've been both people in this song, you've been both sides of the, the coin here. It's called Old Friend. And several of my long-term fans have been really enamored with this song, so I thought I'd include it today. Every time that I've lost another lover, I call up my old friend, and I say, let's get together, because I'm under the weather. Another love has come to an end. And she listens as I tell her my sad story And says I'm just like other men And we ponder why I do it And the pain of getting through it And she laughs and says, you'll do it again And we sit in a bar and talk till two About life and love as old friends do And tell each other what we've been through And love is rare and life is strange Nothing lasts if people change And I ask her if her life is ever lonely And if she ever feels despair And she says she's come to love it That it really is part of it And it makes you feel the good times when they're there And we sit in a bar and talk to two About life and love as old friends do Tell each other what we've been through Love is rare and life is strange Nothing lasts when people change And I wonder if I'll live With any lovers Or if I'll spend my life alone and the bartender is dozing It's getting time for closing And we both agree I'll make it on my own And we'll meet the year when we're 62 We'll travel the world as old friends do And tell each other what we went through That love is rare and life is strange Nothing lasts when people change Love is rare And life is strange Nothing lasts People change I know those people <laughs> Oh, I love that song. Probably for 30 years I've been doing that tune. It's a great song. Hmm.
Hi, Robert, from your Florida family. We love you. Oh, I have Florida family. Yes, I do. Missy sends bug hugs. Les Mis. Bug hugs. Missy sends bug hugs. Okay. Well, thank you, Missy. I've never had a bug hug. But yes, I can. Do, oh, I know who this is. Yes, I can do Les Mis. You want to, uh, well, there's no time to ask questions. I'll just put them all together in a medley. Well, Robert, if they're enjoying this show, there's a way for them to uh, show you not just in their comments, but also monetarily. That's true. I, um, I don't normally have my hand out, but since I don't have a tip jar, I'll do it today. <laughs> the links are up in the corner. This is a medley from Les Miserables.
whole show in five minutes. <laughs> Saved you three hours and 20 minutes on that one. <laughs> oh, man. Great song. I love, I love the, the diversity of what people ask me for. You know, it's, it's kind of fun to just bounce back and forth. And I, uh, just in case you didn't come up with anything, I have a little list here. Um, one of my very favorite jazz tunes, Carol Garner's Misty. Do you know that song? That's from the 1940s. Zing went the strings of my heart. It's from an old Garland film at MGM. And uh, I like to play really kind of Russian roulette. I never know where it's going. But, uh, <laughs> yes. Well, we have some comments. Drew Ballantyne is on here. He's oh, Andrew. He was very excited to see Another you. Another brilliant musician. Evelyn Thomas said Paul Sedeka. What did he say? Evelyn Thomas said Paul Sedeka. You mean Neil Sedaka? Uh, yeah, well, Paul, it, it, it's up She there. must be talking to you. I, maybe. I'm not really sure. I, I have a request, though. I heard, so I heard you, you, you tooling around with something earlier. I, I'd yeah? love to hear some, some more John Williams. I know you started with a little bit of it. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Um, well, actually, you know, um, 
there's a song that I, I wanted to record. It When I first heard it, it sounded like an Eastern European song. And the, the minor key just sort of grabbed my ear. And I went to record it about 20 years ago. And it was the funniest thing, because you, you, know, you have to license the pieces to do it on a CD. And I've never been so shocked in my life is when I found out that this song was written by Neil Sedaka. And it was actually first recorded in 1951 by Peggy Lee, brilliant jazz singer. And then in 1978, it had a whole new life uh, with a wonderful, the greatest pop singer of our lifetime, a lady named Jane Oliver, whose birthday happens to be tomorrow. And I spent some time with her as my vocal coach, which still like amazes me because when you really respect someone's talents and you have a chance to really work one-on-one -on -one with them to, to improve your own you know, music, it's, it's the greatest opportunity ever. So this is a Neil Sedaka song called One More Ride on the Merry-Go-Round. great song. But doesn't it sound like it should have come from some part of Slovakia or something? <laughs> oh my goodness. So John Williams, you know, it's appropriate, uh, I guess, because we have a Darth Vader figure. I don't think they can see it in the shot, but we are at Retro Daddy. If you've never been in here, this is the most pop culture oriented place in Williamsburg. You can come and find records from the 70s and stand up cardboard cutouts of movie characters that you loved in your childhood. And you can just Find anything, do anything. You can see live music, and most of all, you can find Paul Todd here most of the time. That's true, right? Uh, dur during the show, until the, until the show's run is over on June seventh. Yeah. yeah, four days a week here until the show's over on June seventh. Yeah, and assisting to Paul today, I, I feel like I've graduated because there's two of you this time. Last time I was here five weeks ago for the first week of these shows, and there was uh, Paul was doing everything, and now Cuddles, the brilliant DJ, is here today doing sound, making sure that everything is perfect. And uh, I couldn't be more grateful to both of you guys and for IOTA Collective coming up with the idea to give us all a shot to come in here and keep our names and our faces and our fingers out in front of the public because honestly, you know, I know your attention is short-lived and I'd hate to come out of this COVID virus uh, pandemic and everybody go, who are you? <laughs> you know, it's starting to wonder how long it's going to be before music really picks back up. But support music, support your live venues, and call them when you're ready to come back and let them know because I'm sure that after the hit everybody's taken, we're all going to be a little skittish about how much money is invested in live music. But you can't live without it, I promise, and I know I sure can. So please help me get back to work. actually the music that I make up until I decide what I'm going to play. I have some friends in Austria that I know are watching today. And last time I was here, I played the song that got me that job over in Austria for the first time. But this is the song that Andreas likes next in order. In order. My arrangement of time after time. 
from my Listen to My Heart album. I hope that people are getting the full experience and clapping along with you guys. They ought to be. I don't know how they could not. I don't know how they could not. So, Paul, what's going to happen in your wedding tomorrow? Well, uh, if people tune in, what, what show will they see? Uh, they'll see an officiant, and they'll see me and the future wife, and that's really going to be it. Uh, we'll have some lights on the there stage. It is. That is. That's the, uh, that's the invitation of the wedding. Wow. Um, we didn't, we didn't print them off or anything because nobody's actually coming to the thing. It's we, the most exclusive event in town. Yeah, yeah. there's only going to be cuddles. It's cuddles and my kids, and the officiant. I'll try not to be jealous. I give a quick shout out to our sponsors at the Virginia Beer Company, who you can call for takeout and delivery. Uh, two Drummer Smokehouse. This is Two Drummer Smokehouse Sunday Jazz Brunch. A little bit of a switch up from the This country. is my song about smoke. Make sense? Remember? Go on. And the Kilton Cross Sign Company, who gave us these great beer flights that you can see hanging behind Mr. Robert Hodge. I don't see one that says my name. That would have been a nice touch. Well, Ryan O'Donnell, if you're listening, uh, <laughs> Mr. Hodge would like one with his name on it. That's all right. They probably won't ask me back now. <laughs> Speaking earlier of the songs that people mess up the names, I used to have a good friend who was an elderly lady from France, and her favorite song was always Send in the Clowns, but she never once got the name right. She'd come up to me and she goes, whatever happened to the damn clown? <laughs> so. And you know, it's funny, over the years, when you play some of the same songs, sometimes you start to associate them with a memory this song actually was the opening number when I appeared on the March of Dimes telethon in 1992 from the showroom at Trop World in Atlantic City. Beautiful showroom, nine foot Baldwin concert grand. And when I sat down and I started and I leaned into the first chord, that was the first time I realized that they had not locked the wheels on the dolly and the piano slid about an, a foot away from me on live television. And so I just picked up the stool and I followed it, hoping that it wasn't going to be obnoxious on TV. But when I saw the recording, actually, it was really kind of cool because they had just the right angle where you couldn't really see what happened. But then I had to really work not to laugh because the technicians who had screwed it up were crawling on their bellies across the floor trying to stay out of the camera to lock the wheel of the piano. But I think of that every time I play this gorgeous song. 
stayed in place. <laughs> oh, what a great song. You know, it was not actually part of uh, a Little Night Music, the, the Broadway show that it's known for and associated with. It wasn't part of the original score. And in the last dress rehearsals, Stephen Soundtime was still thinking, there's not that hummable ballad. You know, there's and he went home and got this out of the drawer from years before and stuck it in the show, and it became the hit. Trivia. You never, all my friends will tell you, you never know what I will tell you next. Those hummable melodies are super important, I oh, think. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good melody. That's true. No. That's true. And you know, you're one of the few guitarists that can like sing that melody with vocal phrasing at the same time that you're like wizard on the harmony of the guitar. It's unreal. I love it. Thank you. Where are you playing next? Do you know? Uh, the next gig, I think, is here, the Elvis 68 mm. uh, comeback special with Charlie Andy yeah. Dunn. And if you have not seen Charlie Dunn do Elvis, you need to watch. And then uh, after that, I'm sitting in with the Billy Joe Trio on their Saturday BBC show on the last week. And then I will be, um, <clears throat> or Peter Parker will be, I suppose, in his black costume for the very last show of the series on yeah. the 7th with Sammy Lee. We're Isn't he the guy that picked a peck of pickle peppers? <laughs> So there's going to be quite a few shows I'm doing, sound and the uh, video. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a couple you're going to do. This is good to know. On. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. So you know what? One of the things that I love to play, and I actually had put it to rest, and when somebody asked for something, and I'm like, oh, why did I stop playing that? Uh, it happened a couple of months ago when somebody asked me if I knew any music from the Carpenters, and I used to have a medley 25 years ago, and here it is.
we'll stop it there. There's so many songs in so little time. I, uh, I just got to squeeze it all in somehow. I wish we had three hours today because I love what I do. And it's my passion. Six hours can go by and seem like 15 minutes if you just turn me loose. You know what I'm talking about. I know both of you guys do. Yes, sir. So last time I was here, I pulled out this song by my friend David Friedman, whose birthday was yesterday. <laughs> it's called Help Is On The Way. A lot of you sent me messages last time and said that it was an inspiring song for the times we live in. So here it is again. Don't give up the ship, even when you feel it's sinking. And you don't know what to do Don't give up the dream Even though you may be thinking It never will come true Life has its own ideas of how things come about And if you just hang in there Life is gonna work it out Help is all the way From places you don't know about today you may not have met yet believe me when I say I know help is on the way you don't have to know where the path you're on is leading you just have to carry on dreaming as you go asking for the things you're needing you never can if you have faith that things are happening as they should And just believe each step you take is leading you to something good Help is on the way From places you don't know about today From friends you may not have met Yet believe me when I say I know Help is on the way Open your mind, no matter how you've tried and failed. Tomorrow you could turn and find that help is on the way. From places you don't know about today. From friends you may not have met. Every week of this pandemic, something has come along that I didn't expect, and some form of a miracle has entered my life. And if you just look for them, they're right in front of you. I promise. So, how much time do we have, gentlemen? Nine minutes, sir. Mm -hmm. Nine minutes. Nine whole minutes. But I have 1,200 songs to do. Well, you want to talk to some of your people real quick? Um, yeah, who we got? Uh, well, Missy Martinovich. Yeah, I'm having mimosas right now watching you live. Well, that's a coincidence because I have an unspecified drink in my solo cup. John Luciano. Hey there, my friend. Sounding great as always. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is fun, actually. Clyde my Parker. way? Okay. Here you go, Clyde. This one also goes out to Joseph Frank in Austria.
the short version, because I had to stay room for, uh, I had planned to bring you a medley that I created of some of my very favorite George Gershwin songs and Ira Gershwin tunes. Um, these, as far as I'm concerned, they will always be classic. And um, years ago, when I was 19, I performed in a place called Tivoli Garden in Las Vegas that was owned by Liberace. And Liberace had some advice for me one time. He goes, if you ever get a request for a style of music and you don't know what song to play, pick all the songs that are relevant, put them in a medley, and play them all as fast as humanly possible, and they will love it. And it's been true. So there are some uh, great show-stopping moments uh, from the Gershwin catalog that I've selected into this uh, compilation.
And just as a disclaimer, I would like you sometime to hear it when I have the rest of the piano with me. Oh, I always expect this, this keyboard to just fall apart when I get to Rhapsody. <laughs> All right, so we have time for one more song, or what do we got? Mas. One more? Okay. Well, you know what? I can't leave without this song. This is one of the standards for closing a show. And I got a very good long-term friend that lives in Oregon, and this is the favorite. So here it is. I'll be here with you, and I will. You call me if you need me. Others have gone away. I'll be here with you. I'll be here when the nights are cold. I'll be here when the skies are blue. I'll be here when we both grow old. If you want me to. So good night. Don't be afraid. Sleep tight in my heart I know you'll be okay This is a good place to start And tomorrow if trouble should come You can count on me to come through Because now and for always I'll be here with you Thanks so much for joining us. It's been a great afternoon. Thank you, guys. I hope I get to see you again soon, live and in person, somewhere in town. Somewhere in town. Somewhere, somewhere in, in the, the world. world. Anywhere. anywhere. I'll go anywhere. World, really, yeah. Have piano, we'll travel. Have guitar, we'll travel. Yeah, call yeah. me. Have, you can reach so me much. on my cash apps. <laughs> <laughs> They'll let you leave a note. Call me. Thank you so much for being here. We've got some... Uh, there's some folks you might want to talk to. They're, they're out there listening. Yeah. Uh, Lisa yeah. Campbell. Oh, Bonnie has, has chimed in a few times. Play her up. Oh, Bonnie Birkenmeyer. Yeah, she yeah. loves her. She's cute. You'd like her. Vicky oh, Man. I can't say that to you. You're getting married tomorrow. You'd like her, Cuddles. I have a girlfriend, too. It's okay. Oh, oops. Okay. I'm and sure Vicky Mann. I'm sure she's a great lady. Hey, Jackie, Vicky's mom. I hope you're listening. Gosh, this has been fun. You know what? I think... I think everybody's been tuning in and hanging out and having so much fun. I think they'd enjoy one more song if you got one. Do you have time? Oh, I got thousands. We could be here for hours. Um, actually, you know what? One of the songs that was on my list today that I really wanted to play since it was labeled as a jazz brunch. This is my arrangement of a Billie Holiday classic, God Bless the Child.
Thank you. That was fantastic, thank you, so much. Brother. thank you. I've had the best time. So thank you all for joining. And uh, obviously, you know where to find me on Facebook as well. So I look forward to hearing your comments. And there's always room for constructive criticism. So let me know what you like and what you don't. And don't forget that his uh, tip information, Venmo and PayPal, are up in the yeah. top left-hand corner of your screen, as well as pinned in the comments and on the Facebook post. Um, and Thank you don't you. have to tip, but tips are always appreciated. And even if you can't, liking and sharing is super helpful as well because That's true. that gets it out to a wider audience and folks who may be able to tip can tip in that way. And we can share Robert's wonderful performance and music with the world. Thank you. That's yeah, if you, uh, if you share and talk about it, recommend it that, that people watch, it helps all of us. It helps the area. It helps me. And in particular, it helps live music. And uh, speaking of the tips, I said last time that I was going to use a portion of whatever I receive uh, to help some other less fortunate mus musicians in the area because we just haven't had any work. So, you know, it's, it's a critical time and uh, the first of the month will be here again. So I know some people that are in worse shape than I am. And if you are generous with me, I will in turn pay it forward. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a long month and short money. That's true. That's, that's, that's what's going on as of late anyways. <laughs> well, thank you all and, and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. It's a great day to just be thankful for the blessings that we do have. Indeed. Are we out of time? I want to sing another hour. You want to sing another hour? You know, if you if you if you wanted to, if you if if you just by chance felt like you needed to tickle the ivories one more time, <laughs> I still would really like to hear that uh, that John Williams Star Wars band fair you were. Oh no, that's not it. That's Dallas. How's it go? I forgot. You you threw me. I'm not 20 anymore. Now I forgot it. Oh. You just want me to play you out on this, don't you? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in today. That's Robert best what, best wedding present gift. Absolutely. You want to come down the aisle to this? I would. I totally would. I'm not busy tomorrow. If we only had an aisle. Not really an aisle. Okay? She'd have to walk out of the break room. Robert Hodge, ladies and Robert gentlemen, Hodge. thank you so much. Thank you. thank you. This has been a blast. That was wonderful. Best way I can think of to end the show. Yeah. What a great Sunday. What a great way to start your Sunday. Yeah, I'm excited. And, yeah. and if you missed it or if you'd like to hear it again, all you have to do is go to the Live from Retro Daddio page and you can listen to it as many times as you want. Amen. Drop those numbers up. There's, that, uh, there's the link right there on your screen. Facebook.com forward guy? slash Retro Daddio Live forward slash live. I'm not sure. Who is that? I don't know. I want to thank our sponsors, <laughs> the Virginia Beer Company, and of course, Two Drummers Smokehouse. Two Drummers Smokehouse. Remember that you can get delivery or curbside pickup from the Virginia Beer Company by calling 757-378-2903 or visiting them online at virginiabeerco.com. Uh, outside patio now open at 50% capacity. Be kind when you go out, no matter where you're going or who you're dealing with. Remember that this entire situation is new for everybody. Um, and it's important that we love each other and respect each other, especially folks that are that are working to, to help you and to serve you. That's important. That's right. Um, Just be kind in general. Yeah, that's a, that's a good rule. Like you have you have you have you have a choice. You can you can be kind or not. And I think if if I have the choice to be kind or not be kind, I'm going to be kind. You, you know, that's a song cue for me. I have a song called "We Can Be Kind." Of course you do. Would you like to play it? Give us song. So forever. many things we can't control. So many things that happen every day. So many heartaches that pierce the soul. So much pain that won't ever go away. How do we make it better? How do we make it through? What can we do when there's nothing we can do? We can be kind. We can take care of each other. We can remember that deep down inside, we all need the same things. And maybe we'll find, if we are there for each other, that together we'll weather whatever tomorrow may bring. And it's not enough to talk about it, not enough to sing a song. 
we must walk the walk together you and i do or die we've got to try to get along we can be kind we can take care of each other we can remember that deep down inside we all need the same thing and maybe we'll find if we are there for each other and together we'll weather whatever True peace of mind If we always remember We can be kind Wonderful, thank you so much Robert You're welcome Remember that you can get Delivery and curbside pickup from Two Drummer Smokehouse by calling 757-250-3839. Their outdoor patio will be open soon. Again, please be kind and be patient. Like Robert just said, we can be kind. We absolutely can. Uh, quick shout out to the boys out at Eagle Eye Automotive. They're Angels with Tools programmer helping people keep their cars running. Uh, even if they're strapped for cash because of the crisis, just contact them if you need a little bit of help. Uh, and contact them anyways. They do good work. That's correct. Um, uh, remember that you can buy all of the awesome wares that we sell here in this shop by going to retrodadio.square.site. Thank you so much to the Kilton Cross Sign Company and the O'Donnell family for the fantastic gear flights that you saw displayed behind Robert Hodge today as well as on your screen right now. And that's going to do it for us. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. Cuddles, you got anything to add? I forgot uh, to play those guitars. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we do appreciate y'all hanging out with us. It's... uh. It's fun to be able to bring some, some live music and get to see. We get the pleasure of actually seeing Robert Hodge play live, and I know y'all look forward to the, the day that y'all can as well, and hopefully that day is soon. But uh, until that day, we just ask, like he said, be kind and wash your hands. Yep, that's right. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We love you. Uh, tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. for my wedding, if you so choose. Uh, Thursday. Two Drummer Smokehouse Thirsty Thursday with Mr. Jason, Jason Kale. Kale. Yeah, He's we have amazing. We, he is amazing. And we had some uh, we had some lag last time, but we've upgraded the cameras, the computers, uh, the network, every everything's been upgraded since the last time. We're really looking forward to having him back on the show. We're doing was, the best we can with what we got. That's right. Piece together with spare parts. It's all about uh, it's all built with uh what did what did they quote me as saying? It was, uh it had something to do with bubble gum. Bubble gum and string and hope. Um <laughs> the original I, I don't want to say what the original one was, but Courtney told me I needed to modify it before it went to press. Well, so. when we get to the duct tape stage, then uh we know we've made it. Yep, that's right, because duct tape fixes everything. Thank you all That's so much true. for tuning in. We love you. Thank you, Robert Hodge. Thank you, Cuddles. Thank you, Retro Daddio, Two Drummer Smokehouse, the Virginia Beer Company, the Iota Creative Collective, Kilton Cross Sign Company. Be safe out there. Love one another and listen to Cuddles when he says. Wash your hands.